The ISVS Pro Baltimore presents Tank Inspections, an inside look. We're going to discuss tank inspections, in particular from an inspector's point of view. Perhaps we can shed some light on the subject and assist you in better understanding common modes of failure with regard to shipboard tanks. First, let's go over the basic types of tanks. There are peak tanks, both fore and aft, saddle tanks along the sides of the vessel, double bottom tanks, and external tanks. And there may be others not described here, but every ship has tanks on it somewhere. Tanks are used for ballast, fuel storage, fresh water, lubricants, and sewage. Among other things, ensure that the tank or confined space you are going to enter has been certified gas-free by a qualified gas-free engineer. Safety glasses are a must at all times, as is appropriate hearing protection. Dockside availabilities and shipyards can be very noisy environments. Again, be sure to check with your supervisor to review your unit's safety measures and confined space entry procedures. Aside from safety equipment, it is best practice to have some of the following items to assist you in your inspection. Protect your uniform with a serviceable set of coveralls. A properly fitted hard hat is not only required in industrial environments like these, but can also help you avoid injury from falling debris or dropped tools and flashlights. Speaking of flashlights, a good flashlight is a must. These confined spaces or tanks are not equipped with a light source. An inspection mirror will be required to see the backside of structures and difficult to reach spots. A good camera with fresh batteries and film will allow for the capture of important areas of concern for later discussion. And of course, every good petty officer carries a pen and a notepad. Tanks will be accessed through an opening called a manhole. These manholes could be located on the deck or in the bulkhead of the ship's structure. If necessary, Use a step stool or ladder to enter the tank. And of course, you should always have another competent shipmate with you. Before entering the space, ensure you are in the correct tank to be inspected by verifying the compartment number with any documentation that you may have, such as the ship's specification or inspection request, and that all of your unit's safety policies are being adhered to. You will enter the tank through the manhole be sure to inspect the climbing apparatus or ladder before you attempt to use it. Different tanks will have different coatings depending on their intended purpose. Some will be painted with a coating that is appropriate for fuels and other petroleum products. Others may have a special coating just for tanks that are designated to hold fresh potable drinking water. Others may have no coating at all and will remain clean bare steel. Talk with your supervisor about where to find information on the types of coatings for the different types of tanks and their functions. Once safely inside the tank, begin wherever you would like, but make sure that you check every inch of the tank. Pay close attention to the welds and material condition of T-bars, frames, sounding tubes and striker plates longitudinals, plating, and transverse piping. Also note the condition of the coating if applicable. With your interior inspection complete, it's time to exit the tank. On your way out of the tank, note the condition of any gaskets or seals around the manhole. When the tank has been serviced, inspected, and closed, an air test will reveal any leaks in the tank that may have been missed. The tank vents will be inspected to ensure the line is clear and the vents will function as intended. 
When a tank has been inspected thoroughly and correctly, your ship will be ship-shape and ready for the next adventure.